Well, two and a half weeks now until Christmas, and this is the reminder to get your tree if you haven't done that yet. But a Hayes County Christmas tree lot wants to remind you of something else this holiday season. Chris Davis is live for us in Kyle. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Sally and John. You're going to take a stroll with me here in, in just a quick second here at Cross Plants and Produce here in Kyle. All of their trees have names. Most of them are kind of cute or Christmassy. This one is named Sparkle. This one over here is named Tiny. There's one around here named Spruce Willis. Pretty good if you ask me. But when you're walking around these rows of trees, you're going to find names that you might not expect. Something kind of like this one, Specialist Joseph Norquist. What's in a name? Yeah, this one's Captain Jason Hamill. There's a lot in these. Unfortunately, there have been many names. Wes was killed. He's a corporal, in, a lance corporal in the Marines. And Kay LaFleur named this tree to honor a friend's son killed in Iraq. It's one of a few dozen tribute trees at Cross Plants and Produce. The families really appreciate it. They really, really do. Just an, another chance to say their name. She knows because she does. You miss him all year long. I miss him every day. But the holidays? just a little harder. It's been 10 years since Corporal Jason LaFleur died in Iraq. A family friend surprised his mom by naming this tree for him. I really did not have any idea it mattered as much as it, it did until today. So we talked with Miss LaFleur. Jennifer Cross and her veteran husband started naming trees for fallen service members four years ago. All of them by request. This year they included first responders. So this is a uh, Trooper Allen's. Trooper Damon Allen, killed in the line of duty this Thanksgiving. Another family grieving over the holidays. LaFleur and her family took her son's tree. The name Jason LaFleur will be a part of their Christmas. You learn to live with it. Um, you learn to live with it. But I miss him. I just I miss him. And the Crosses got this idea from a friend of theirs who asked if they could name a tree to honor uh, a soldier that her husband had served with and unfortunately didn't make it home. And this tree here that we showed you, Specialist Norquist, he was one of the uh, original names. This name has been on a tree all four years that they've done this. And just one more thing to add to this story. A couple days ago, a man came here to buy his tree. He was a friend of Officer Ken Copeland. That's, of course, the San Marcos officer who was shot and killed on Monday. He asked if the tree he was buying could be renamed to honor Officer Copeland. We'll send it back to you.